Welcome back, everyone. So one in four workers have either quit their job this year or they plan to quit in the next few months. And even more seem to pretty much just be unhappy with the job they have right now. A recent Gallup poll found 60% of people are emotionally detached at work. 19% say they are downright miserable. Only 33% of workers say they feel engaged at work, so about a third. Experts say the pandemic has taken a toll on all of us, causing many people to quietly quit. But this new trend can hurt both your employer and the employee. I'm proud to be an American and believe in disseminating the truth. And that is why after this newscast, I'm resigning. Company exits, some are loud. Jared, I'm here to tell you that I'm quitting. While some are not so loud. I went out to get my letter of resignation. It's an I'm sorry for your loss card. And it says it's me, you're losing me. And now quiet quitting is all the talk on TikTok. I recently learned about this term called quiet quitting, where you're not outright quitting your job, but you're quitting the idea of going above and beyond. They're just going to their jobs and then just doing the job from, from nine to five. And then, and then, and then ho hold up, that's just working. That's work. Quiet quitters do exactly what's required. No more, no less. No answering emails, text, or calls at night or on the weekends. The recent Gallup poll found the main reason for this trend, unfair treatment at work, unmanageable workloads, lack of respect, inconsistent compensation, and favoritism. And although quiet quitters might feel more balanced in their life, experts say they risk being demoted, laid off, and fired. Quiet quitting is a really bad idea. The whole point is you're there to make the business work. Experts fear that due to inflation, employees might not realize that companies are already looking for ways to cut costs. And if you're not being productive, the quiet quitters might be the first to go. A better option if you're not happy at work, have frequent one-on-ones with your manager to discuss challenges and opportunities. Gather support from your coworkers and friends and be decisive. It's better to leave a job you hate than to hate the job you're in. Just another consideration here on the flip side, employers are now quiet firing. That's when it, your employer treats you so badly that you will leave your job. For example, you didn't get the yearly bonus this year or shifting important work to others or deliberately leaving you out of meetings. So before you quiet quit, think about whether you are ready to be quiet fired.